but it's so beautiful on my skin. It's so beautiful on my skin. Hey guys, it's your goth looking, clown girl looking makeup artist friend cat sketch here today. I know this makeup's crazy, but it's in an upcoming video, so you're gonna see this twice. Just be forewarned. Um, there are so many monthly favorites. Sit down, have a snack, and some tea, sis, because there were so many that I had to take some out. But first off, you know the drill. I'm gonna go through my makeup first and everything else so that you can get to the good stuff in the beginning. The lipstick that I've been obsessed with lately, this is an old collab from MAC, so you probably can't buy it, which is very unfortunate. I don't know why I timed this so badly. And it's the Robert Lee Morris MAC collection with this weird, like, I think I've put this in my favorites before this collection, but not this. And it is in the color pomegranate. I love how small this lipstick is, which is stupid because like, what if you don't get a lot of lipstick with that? It's such a beautiful color and it's not drying and it's like a satin finish. And here it is from my Instagram. Another makeup product that I've been obsessed with. I got my hands on some strobe cosmetics. I wanted to try them forever. I've been eyeing this on Instagram. These are the Creepy Cute and Divinity palette. This palette alone, I thought this isn't gonna be that pigmented. Who makes pigmented pastels other than sugar pill? This looks like it's gonna look like nothing on my skin, but it is so good. I'm gonna put up a makeup I did with it here. She's a beauty. This is like fall time happiness, and this is pastel goth realness. I love both of these so much for so many different reasons. I feel like this one, she blended a little bit better. I don't know, I just love the colors. In the They're both good. They're in the favorites for a reason. Another surprising favorite this month have been these Revlon Cushion Lips. I did a look with the orange lip and you guys popped off on it. You're like, what is this makeup? I think I used this. No, I used, oh, another favorite, Beetlejuice. I used the Beetlejuice eyeshadow palette. They only had this in October. I'm so sorry about it. I think it's sold out now too. But I used this and one of the orange ones of these, I can't find it now. But this leaves that beautiful, like, K-pop cushion, blotted lip look. Love it. This necklace is a favorite too. I found this in Texas, but I bought this at a thrift store and I love it. Speaking of Revlon, let's talk about this Candid Foundation. I absolutely, positively, 100% love how this wears on my skin, but it does give flashbacks, so don't wear this out when you're taking photos. It goes medium to full coverage if you layer it, but it's so beautiful on my skin. It's so beautiful on my skin. Makeup Forever came out with these Starlit Diamond Powders. You might never need to buy a highlighter. This would be the most extreme highlighter, but oh my gosh, if you're light skinned and can't find a highlighter, sis, I love it. That's probably my favorite makeup product out of this whole monthly favorites, but this one's good too. This literally looks like a sparkle bronzer in the pan with a highlighter that's not even my color. I don't even use that highlighter in this. I just use it for this. And it looks a little too orange with some looks. Like with this look, it looked too orange, so I had to put another one on top. But this makes my skin just glow from within. And it's smells like pineapples, and it's so much nicer than I thought it was gonna be. Not knocking Too Faced, but I didn't think this was gonna be that great, and I love it. Let's talk about scooters. <laughs> this is such a weird monthly favorites. But there's these things called Lime and Bird scooters. They're brands. Lime is a brand, Bird is a brand. You can log into your phone and Go on these scooters throughout LA. I go with my friends like late at night in a very rich community where there's not many cars and we just have fun and race each other. It sounds like I'm eight years old, maybe. This is gonna be another weird thing, but my favorite snack this month has been pepper jellies. When I was in Texas, Bunny took me to this thing called the Nutcracker Market and it's insane. It's as big as Comic-Con for people that love to buy. There's so many Christmas things that I couldn't even take home with me. I was just there for the food, but they have this place called Jalapeno Gold there. I don't know, they might have an online store, I hope so. This is candied jalapeno peppers. It's so good on pimento and cheese on crackers. And then this one's Mango Tango. It's a mango jalapeno jelly on crackers, like graham crackers, sweet or savory. This is, they're both bomb. This one is the best. I wish I bought more for my family and friends, but I'd end up eating all of it. This is gonna get weird, but I suffer from psoriasis. Psoriasis happens in many people. It's when your skin cells have a deficiency to where they don't flake off 
properly like normal skin does, like the layers of your skin. Kim Kardashian has psoriasis, I have psoriasis, and I've had it since I was literally, speaking of eight, I was since I was eight years old. I don't wanna pay to have like, steroid medicine from doctors that's so expensive. I've been looking all over the counters for medicine for my psoriasis because winter is the time when psoriasis comes knocking and tries to destroy your skin and make you bleed and it hurts. That's how bad my psoriasis personally gets. So I get mine in my scalp. Some people get on their legs like Kim Kardashian. Some people get in their nail beds. It's crazy. It's not something to be ashamed about. I understand. I always have stuff that's wrong with me. I'm allergic to everything. My skin's falling apart all the time from allergies or psoriasis. So I found two great options. This one stinks really bad. I know that doesn't sound like a great turn on, but it really does work. It's in the $20 or more range which is a little bit more pricier and it smells, but I found a great alternative. I've been using this for years. A great alternative, Cortisone 10 came out with a new maximum straight psoriasis lotion. This has no smells, a totally different consistency. This one's a lot easier to put onto like your scalp or anything. This one is a little harder, but has no scent whatsoever, which is great and it's really cheap. It's under $10. I found it at Walgreens and I'm sure it's online. I'm sure it's on Amazon and it's so much easier to get than this is. They're both over the counter. Um, and what I do is I leave it in overnight, then wash it out the next morning. I've been obsessed with, let's talk about music and TV shows. I've been obsessed with the Travis Scott Sick Mode, not the original song, but the Skrillex remix is my everything. I've been playing it nonstop. And this is so insane, but I was listening to Up and Vanish and they played this song and I looked it up and I'm obsessed with this new, it's a country artist, which I don't usually love country unless it's Dolly Parton or Shania Twain. His name is Col Coulter Wall. Coulter Wall, yes. Imaginary Appalachia. The song is called The Devil Wears a Suit and Tie. It's amazing. I don't know, it reminds me of Bluegrass that my dad used to play me and I grew up on. And the TV show, you have to be seven, like a teenager, like literally 16 or 17 or older to watch this TV show because it's so raunchy, but it's so good. It's this cartoon animation called F is for Family from one of my all time favorite comedians. Bill Burr, it's about his life growing up. It's a gym, it's so good. I cannot wait at the end of the day to get into bed with my snacks and watch this with my boyfriend. It's so, so hilarious and funny. That is the end of my monthly favorites. It was really weird. I know my makeup looks crazy today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite thing to watch or wear on your face makeup wise lately? I would love to hear. And subscribe for more Makeup Mondays and Effects Fridays here on this channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!